Question. We all experience growing up in our mother's womb. Had you? Did you? Right? Tell me. In your mother's womb, in my mother's womb, is it bright or dark? Dark. Probably you don't know. I didn't know either. But absolutely, it's dark. All right? Yes. And from our mother's womb, which is dark, we are brought to this world, this beautiful world. And yet, and yet, sometimes we find ourselves in a gloomy time, in a gloomy situation. Am I right? Right. We are, we are about to celebrate the birth, the holy birth of Jesus Christ. More than 2,000 years ago. We're still celebrating it every year. All right. Um, there are a few things that I'd like to share with you guys, which is important to know and too important to ignore. All right. Um, about seven, 700, maybe 50 years before Jesus was born, there was a prophet called Isaiah. Isaiah means um, the salvation of the Lord. All right. The Lord wants to save. What does it mean? When, when you're in a gloomy situation, in a bad situation, in a painful situation, God wants to deliver you out of that. Do you want to? Do you want to? God doesn't want any of us to stay in a gloomy situation. He wants us to live a great and bright life. Do you like that? Yes. All right. If you if you have have a Bible, you may you go home and study um, chapter nine of Isaiah, which is a very very inspiring chapter. In the beginning of that chapter, the prophet says, "Okay, the time was extremely gloomy." Very, very dark, no hope. But he said, those walking in gloomy time will see a great light, a brilliant light. Man. Okay. And they and they shall they shall no longer suffer in any kind of darkness. Why? Why? And he said, for a child is born to us. A son is given to us. And the government, what was meant by government? And the government is on his shoulder. Government means the power to rule, the power, the power to protect, the power to provide. Okay, and the government is on his shoulder. That means he's going to take it up and give whatever we need to us. And then it says his name. Is called. His name is called what? Wonderful counselor. Wonderful counselor in Hebrew is a pelak. Pelak your way. Can you say after me? Pelak. Pelak. It means wonderful. Wonderful. Pelak your way. Wonderful counselor. Um, mighty God. Mighty God. 
and everlasting father. Everlasting, everlasting father. father. And the last one is Prince of Kings. Prince King. of Kings. Right? We all know that wonderful counselor. He's an Indian wonderful counselor. Ever since I became a Christian uh, 45, 50 years ago, I began to seek God's word almost every day especially when i was about to make an important decision i pray to god i ask god for his wonderful counsel his wise his wise advice to me and he never failed me you know he never always he he gives me tremendous wonderful wonderful counsel and advice that's why here i am let me tell you my my life indeed began in a gloomy, gloomy way you know that i a couple of hours before not before after i was born i was almost killed by my brother he's three years older than I and he climbed up to the to the bed I was born at home in a very shabby uh, wooden house in the squatter area a very poor area and I was born at home right after I was born I was put in the bed and my brother climbed to the bed he stepped on me. He said, I want to kill this monster. It's what my mom told me. And I, uh, and I didn't breathe. I didn't cry. And my mother and my older sister kept hitting me. They said, after a few minutes, I cried. <laughs> I continue to live for another 68 years. How wonderful! His mighty God, His eternal Father, and His being Prince of Peace. A lot of time, I think people do not understand the word peace uh, in the Bible. I invite Candace, will you come out? Okay. Now this is important for you. Okay. Prince of Peace in Hebrews, Sa Shalom. You know Shalom, right? Yep. Shalom. You know Sa is like a Tsar in Ru Russia. You know the Tsar is the emperor, the king. Okay. But Shalom, Candace. It's like a shuckle, which includes all the good things from God. Amen. So besides peace, would it include wealth? Would it include wealth? How about health? How about happiness? How about warmth? How about strength? How about power? How about all the good things that you need? It's all included in the word shalom. You know, we, we, we in English we can only translate it into peace, but it, it it means so much more, so much more than peace. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, and and the newborn king is. The king of Shalom. That means he he's controls Shalom. He's, he's empowered to, to govern Shalom. Amen. And if you call Jesus your Lord and Savior, that means you are his children. Amen. Right? Amen. I am a child of the Prince of Peace. I'm a child of the Prince of Shalom. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. 
Would you like to call Jesus your Lord and Savior? Amen. Jesus! Jesus! You are my Lord and Savior! You are my Lord and Savior! Lord and Savior! You are my wonderful counselor! You are my wonderful counselor! You are my mighty God! You are Almighty God! You are my eternal Father! You are my eternal Father! And you are! And you are! The Shalom! The Shalom! You are my Prince of Peace! We stand in Shalom! All the goodness from you is included in the word Shalom and I am your child! Amen. May your shalom, shalom, keep showering upon me Amen. now and forever. Amen. Now and forever. Amen. Amen. Okay, I want you to repeat if you are willing. Yes. You call Jesus your Lord and Savior. Lord is He's the Savior. And then He's your wonderful Counselor. How about that? He's the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You're my Lord and Savior. You're my Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your powers and your love. You are my wonderful counselor. You are my, you are wonderful, my wonderful counselor. counselor. You are my mighty God. You are my you are, my, you are the king. You are my eternal father. You are my eternal God. father. You are my Prince of Shalom. You are the Prince of, Prince of Shalom. Now and forever. Now and forever. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you. Ten seconds. Just ten seconds. From now on, all the blessings of Jesus will come to you. We will keep following you. Now and forever. Amen. 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 Thank you.